Hi guys, my name's Andy and in this lesson I'm covering how to play Hey Joe by Jimi Hendrix. This lesson is specifically covering in depth on the intro and the little lead lines and fills that Hendrix does on the original record which I know so many people really want to nail and a lot of uh, the YouTube videos that are out there at the minute don't kind of cover them in enough detail or take enough time about them. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, I do have an easier version of this lesson uh, available, so if, that is, if this is a song that you really want to learn but can't quite nail some of the licks, please check out the open chords version of this song where I cover the basics of it, allowing you to play along to the record straight away. But if you're here for the harder stuff, the more advanced stuff, the lead guitar playing, check out this lesson and let's get you in for a close-up. That one more time so you can see both hands. Okay, so we have a slide with our first finger on the B string from three, third fret to fifth fret, but we pick both strings uh, two and one, so the thinnest two strings. Together. Then we do the same thing but slide the other way, which is quite hard to do. If I had both in the same uh, same shot, there I've not perfected playing on the neck yet. So first one, and then back, and then with our middle finger, we go to the third string, and we play the B and the uh, G together. So string two and three this time. Play them two and slide to second fret. And that wants to be as soon as you've done it to get the sound of the record. So we just want to hear. Ding. If you're doing this slow at all, we really probably don't want to do that slide, but I'm going to teach this as full and as proper as I can. And then open, which can be done with a flick off, to second fret there. So other than. Obviously the slides are happening, but basically this is walking down your E minor pentatonic scale. That's the kind of groove of it. Da, 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 da. We're just adding slides. Okay, but it's the same notes as walking down. really useful to kind of get that melody and the order of the notes in, in your mind first. Okay, and then pick the thickest E string and then play the thicker three strings of the E and E major chord. Slide that E chord up three frets, back one fret to fourth fret, and then back to where you were before. So that bit on its own. Can do that with a bit of a slide here to get more of the sound of the record. I didn't sound that. And along with everything else. And then we basically play um, first finger at second fret of the third string, middle finger at the third fret 
of the second string, third finger, fourth fret, fourth, oh, third string, sorry, again, and this is the one that's going to hammer on. And that needs to be in a pattern of three, so pick, hammer, pick, and then those three again. Pick, hammer, pick, pick, hammer, pick. To get the speed of it, you need to get a gallop with your right hand. This is what my picking hand's doing. Down, up, down, up, down. One, and two, and three, and four. And this is a, such a cool and powerful lead guitar playing technique. We just do two of them. Hammer, pick, pick, hammer, pick. That will probably take weeks to get down as smooth as that if you've never done it before. But it's so worth doing. And we just want two of them. So in context. And then we have the chord sequence that we covered in the easier version of this lesson, which is C for two beats, all these for two beats, C, G, D, A, and E. And um, so that's your intro, just to put the whole thing together nice and slow. So that's the gist of the intro. It's not easy. You need to really get used to, I think, plenty of, well, you get used to your slides on their own. And the picking pairs of strings is really tricky as well. But also just playing plenty of riffs that actually use this E minor pentatonic scale. And I've got 10 riffs for the, that you can choose from already filmed on YouTube and on my website at andyguitar.co.uk in the description below so check out those if this is a little bit too much for you but you like it and this is exactly the style of guitar playing you want to do click those links and check out some of the other videos in the playlist there's heaps of songs that you're going to enjoy there including like songs by the black keys and more blues ones eric clapton you're going to really dig it um there's another little riff which is this which some of you may recognize from Whole Lot of Love. And it is exactly the same riff. Some of you may even recognize that is Who's Been Talking by Joe Bonamassa and Howling Wolf. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Pretty sure it's Howling Wolf. Um, that fits in after the E chord. So we go through all our chord sequence, A, hey, Joe. Where are you going with that gun in your hands? And you basically have a whole lot of love in that exact same rhythm. Third finger, seventh fret of the thickest E string. First finger waiting at fifth fret of the A string. You play third to first, those two again, and then third finger finishes it at uh, seventh fret of the A string. That one more time dead slow. And I really recommend just doing both with a, a down pick really. probably do a quick lesson after this on a whole lot of love as well because it is really cool um, and then you can keep your third finger on that string and then go for the C chord for the next round two three two three four 
So really the trick with this is going to be waiting for when you go for the riff. Two, three. Two, three, four. And I really advise for every student I've taught over Skype or privately that's been doing the beginner's course at all, wait here, two, three, four, before kind of continuing. But if you can fill it in, you can fill it in with an E chord that remaining amount of time. Or even if you want the real way to do it. Slide there. Two to four on string three. Three to five on the B string, back to three and open. That one more time. And that's the open string that it finishes on. And that fits after all your chords. To whole lot of love. And then the slidey rick lick that's like the intro. And that's the whole thing, how to play Hey Joe with all the little fiddly bits in it. Thanks for checking out this guitar lesson of how to play Hey Joe. Please subscribe if you like what I do and to support the channel and I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.